God, you are there. You are. Good morning. I'm okay right now, but I'll have to mute when Kelly gets on. So. You good? Am I good? Are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I'll have to mute when Kelly gets on. Hey, hey how are you? <laughs> Have a good meeting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Going to do her thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, problem was getting on. Yes, I did. I don't know why. Watching it, I couldn't figure. Geez, clock is ticking. <laughs> wow, it's eleven. Yeah. I um. Well, when I went into it, it said something about um. Just not being a secure line, and so I had to click a few more buttons to get it to work. Can you hear me, or is it too noisy with everybody? Well, it, it's kind of noisy, but I can hear you. Okay. Hey, John. Hey, How are you doing? Well, how about you? Very well. Thank Jenny, are you at the meeting or are you in a virtual room? Uh, I'm at the meeting, but this is a virtual, or this is this is a virtual <laughs> background. It's totally official. The backdrop <laughs> looks really impressive. <laughs> I got on Canva like, and wow. I found this one. It's like, oh, I can make this my own. So, I okay. Do okay. <laughs> yeah, you can you can send me a copy of it. I like it. <laughs> okay. Well, do you want me to change anything? I'm, I'm sure you don't want to have a picture on there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can put my own stuff. I'll, if you send me the camera, I'll edit it in Canva. I have a oh, camera. you do have Canva? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I will do that. Or actually, if I, it, it was one of the Canva. If you go and create um virtual background, it was one of the right. those. So if you okay, don't see okay, it, I, email me and I'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll go look for it. Excellent. Yeah, I thought it was fun. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really nice. Try to do all really the nice. colors. <laughs> yeah. The... Well, I'm gonna mute so you guys don't hear all the noise here. Kelly should be getting on any minute. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll wait till what happens. Kelly's Kevin is um taping Kelly so we'll know what to do when she's not here to get signed out. <laughs> hey Quanta, how are my you? second breakfast this morning. I haven't had one yet. <laughs> Hi, Quanta. Hi, honey, how are you? I'm good. good morning. I like your background. <laughs> Thank you. We were just talking about it. Yeah, did you do it? Hold on a second. Yeah, do green. Wait, is that that's the one you were out of, right? Yeah. Oh, purple fruit. Purple is fruit, so do the green. It's purple. Wait, I can't see. It's red. Yeah, that's red. That's red. Right. <laughs> Rosemary's taking over for me today in the meal. No, is it wrong? <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, <laughs> John, are you doing the uh, invocation today, or? Um, Kevin is doing it. Oh, Kevin. So you you guys feel free to talk among yourselves, um, and hopefully we'll get going soon. Yeah. As a... They say in the Saturday night live special, talk among yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, it, um, uh, John, they, you, yeah. They just passed Sorry. the 
Novavax, they approved, and now I'm waiting for Corbovax. You think it uh, will be approved here? I I don't know. Uh, they don't, I don't know if they would would stretch outside Moderna and Pfizer. They have kind of a lock on it, and anyway. But you might be able to jump over to Mexico or Canada or something and get whatever vaccine you want. Oh, you know? really? They have it in Mexico? I'll, I'll check. I can check for you. I'd like to know what... Because India is shipping to the rest of the world. Yeah, India is shipping to the rest of the world. So. Oh, that's wonderful. I wonder if they have it in Turkey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you're Turkey, right. I think it's... Turkey, uh... Competition doesn't allow it here. I, I you're, you're right. No, they've already bought these vaccines. They put a lot of money into it. Uh, you know, they've even done away with the Johnson and Johnson because it was having side effects. And exactly. And so they really done. Exactly. Done yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Corbovax is one that I can take. And if they're going to force people to take it, then they should not, you know, they should make the choice available, you know? I think at no, but I think at this point, uh, Quanta, I think they're not forcing anyone to take it because, you know, I guess 20% or 25% of America has not taken it. So there, and the people who haven't taken it have been getting COVID. I have two, I have friends who haven't taken it and both of them, husband and wife has had COVID twice. So they're getting natural immunity because this, these new variations that are flying through the population. So. Yeah, I know a lot of people friends of mine who've been fully vaccinated have, sure. have it and, and I just protect myself by uh, you know uh, wearing the mask and being careful and just living like I was living yeah. in the middle in the middle of the pandemic and I'm doing fine yeah 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 but I would like to I don't All know right. if, gonna, if they make it mandatory when you travel then I have to take it um not yeah i don't think it's even mandatory because they're flying to london and i'm not i mean i have i am fully vaccinated and boosted but that wasn't part of my paperwork to go to london anymore so i think oh, people are doing away with it david yeah oh, really? i think we've it's, it's now endemic yeah it's endemic so you're gonna i've had it most people are gonna have it in some mild form if they've been vaccinated or you know who knows Mm -hmm. So I think they've just given up. So from that perspective, oh, okay. I mean, Dr. Fauci got it. When Dr. Fauci got it, that was you know he's been extremely <laughs> careful. I you know. know that all bets are off at that point. I know. So, yeah. I think. I think Madam President is ready to. Um, Madam talk. President, yeah, 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 yeah. So. Hi, Kelly. We can't hear you. She's muted. She's muted. Mm -hmm. Jenny, Kelly is muted. All right. Kelly is muted. That's because they both are always saying those bad words. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, now now Kelly is not muted anymore. Awesome. That, that's it. Sean, can you hear me? Don't. She said it. it doesn't sound like you're going through. Okay. So now I'm going to go to audio. Yes. This is something that's important.
John, have you been reading any interesting books? <laughs> Someday I'll tell you all about it. I am rereading a book I started probably five years ago that Brad wrote. And I put it down somewhere and it got lost. And I just found it a week or two ago. And I am enjoying it. He knows how to write oh, a book. Excellent. He really no, is. He's written writer. more than one. He's, he's written a bunch of them, hasn't he? Uh, you oh, know, he's done or... 15 of them, I think, something like that. Oh, is that right? Wow. But he's, wow. he's a very skillful reader and he's got a good plot. And it's very, very contemporary, Excellent. even though he wrote it that long ago. Excellent. It is, it's just like reading the morning newspaper. It involves Russia. Speakers. Let's just see if this works before you record it. I think you've taken a look at this before. but it's not. And then I get to send this to you. send that when you work your group. Okay. Yeah, we overhead is fine. It's just the uh, online that we're having problems with. Can you hear her? You can hear her online. Hey, John, can you hear? Yeah, I can hear everybody loudly and clearly. Okay. Oh. I just, I just, I just, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Kelly. I'm not sure about the mic. The mic is working. Is that, that, um, you can't hear me on the mic. I can hear you, but I'm not sure. I'm here. I'm not sure if it's the mic. I can hear the mic. No. Uh, you weren't here last week, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad to see you this week. Always glad to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we, we can see the improvement in the lighting. Hello. 
I have been teleported back into the, I've been teleported back into the club. So I'm here virtually. <laughs> Hey Kevin, I'm trying to join you. Uh, my phone. You weird. Hi, everybody. Sorry, uh, we are uh, running um, two minutes behind. Um, it wouldn't be my last month of being the Rotary president without some technical difficulties. <laughs> so we're very glad to see everybody. Um, yeah, it's it'll it, the, the Wi Fi is really slow today. So um, the crowd's going to be sideways just for a second. It's actually it'll it'll fix itself. See, it says it's still connecting. Oh, it's trying to connect the audio. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, it'll it'll straighten out, Maybe but it's just being. It won't. Yeah, don't. It it, it normally doesn't do this. It's I just. Why am I connecting the audio? I don't want to connect the audio. Um, so that I can start running this meeting, Eric. Can you? <laughs> well, actually, it, it'll, it should give you an option that just says, do you want to connect the audio? And, it, and the answer was no, but it didn't listen. So it's going into timeout. Um, yeah, so welcome, everybody. It's great to see so many guests here today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. And um, did we have anyone that signed up for our um, Pledge of Allegiance and invocation? Kevin, get on up here. You know, one minute here. We can we can switch. We can do the we can do the Pledge of Allegiance first. We can get crazy today and mess up the order. Woo. Thank you. Well, why don't we pledge it? Why don't we pledge our allegiance? Oh, hold on. Let me slide this back without knocking everything over. <laughs> All right, let's pledge allegiance while you look for your invocation. All right, would everyone please stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. That was, yes, we will definitely accept it. Well, welcome, everyone. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, is, is our speaker here? Okay. She will be here, though. Cool. Yeah, it's probably trying to get into the parking lot. Um, so today is June 17th, and it's recognized in some places as a day to recognize those who work in garbage. I think it's especially important that we as Rotarians, remember these men and women, since we know in Rotary, we honor every vocation, and we know that every vocation has value. So this is my invocation for those who work in sanitation. We thank you for the men and women who serve in the sanitation field. We thank you for those who ride in and on garbage trucks, serving our families, 
friends, and neighbors. Keep them safe from disease as they perform tasks many would not so that they too can provide for their families. Bless those in administration and support that they may work together to creatively solve the challenges of waste. Give us eyes to see these and the many others not mentioned specifically as contributing members of society. Finally, we ask that you give all the desire to live simply so that we may steward well the earth you've given to us. That's all. You know, one thing for sanitation workers is uh, I don't know many three year old boys who don't think that garbage men are like the heroes of the world. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. Like, absolutely. It might, our, our views might change about wanting to be a garbage man as we grow up, but three-year-old boys, man, they were the bomb in our house. So, um, all right, let's uh, get a list of our guests and say hello to everybody. And does Kevin have that as well? Nope, not my job. <laughs> Rosemary, Rosemary, is that you today? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Daryl, Daryl, if you would please stand and introduce your guests, that would be wonderful. Okay, I'm going to introduce the, um, um, my guests I have to be here today. Um, I started here to my left is Polly Utah. Polly Utah is um, the regional marketing director for First Financial Security, where life insurance and annuity brokers firm, um, which we all are coming from. Um, she's uh, also come to us as uh, over 20 plus years in banking as well, and, and, and I'm looking forward to, um, before I go even say the rest, looking forward to her and the rest becoming a part of this new work Rotary um, Club, so it's going to be exciting. Yeah. And then I want to introduce her sister, her actual sister, <laughs> Ali Watabati. Hey, um, <laughs> So Ali is a regional marketing director for uh, First Financial Security, and they both together created Ali Poly and Associates, and they're headquartered in Valentine and in Pineville. Hi, Bill! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Ali's been so, one of our guest speakers before. Yes, and uh, she, so Ali, um, Ali is a certified CPA um, for many, many years as an accountant, and also in addition to owning Ali Poly and Associates, which again is a life insurance and annuity brokerage firm. Um, She's also um, a CPA. She has her own uh, tax accounting firm as well. She's just a plethora of finance. Um, and so I have to reach my right. I have Holly Four. Um, well, Holly Four is a uh, manager of Board Financial Security. She's a licensed uh, life insurance agent as well as real estate um, agent as well. So she's double trouble. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and this, again, as I said, blood sister. This is her blood sister. And he is also a licensed uh, life insurance agent and a real estate uh, uh, agent as well. Uh, both here uh, doing their thing in North Carolina. Oh. And uh, we're all a team from First Financial Security, also again mentioned his headquarters in Pineville and in Valentine. So I'm glad to have them here and looking forward to them becoming a part of Dilworth South End Road. Hey, I'd also like to introduce Kelly's guest. Uh, well, actually, may I introduce her? Yes. Thank you. Madam, <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, uh, I'm very uh, so you guys, most of you have met Renee before. Um, she came to this art club a long, long time ago, and then um, I find her as one of my best people in life. She's mine. She's mine. Um, but and while she moved to Weddington, and she's not very close to her. Um, she thinks she works in Valentine, but we're still very happy to have her. So she's a dear friend, and she's my new advisor. Oh. And you, um, you can like, you know. Yes. Yeah, you're so our guest for now. We're Okay. Okay. It's not because we were 
thank you for letting us know because if not, we would be uh, we'd be being paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that is everybody. Rosemary, thank you for letting me jump in there. Absolutely. She did. <laughs> I did not take I did not take that as a slight coming from from um, and then our also our uh, want to acknowledge our sister uh, Quanta is online as well today so welcome Quanta it's always good to see your picture because that's yeah <laughs> it's always so. I actually got to meet Quanta for the first time at the peace picnic and I was like Wah! I was like time stood still so. Um, all right, uh, I think we need some announcements and then we'll do happy dollars and then get to our presentation. So, Kelly, um, do you mind if I share just a couple of comments from our board meeting? No, go ahead. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the first things I wanted to say is uh, we had our board meeting this week. We have them uh, monthly. And uh, one of the things I'm super excited about is that Amarja Webb, who I don't think is uh, online, she was, supposed she was supposed to be, but yeah. Oh, ah, okay. Thank you, Ranji. Ranji says she's in West Virginia visiting her in laws. Okay. Um, in any event, Amarja is going to um, uh, have a project that involves recyclable bags that we are going to use and distribute to uh, folks in recognition of the environment and sustainable uh, environmental habits being our newest area of focus for Rotary. So we're thrilled about that. She's actually going to find uh, a printer in India when she visits there in July, and we will start distributing those. It'll have uh, appropriately branded Rotary um, logos on it and everything. So we're, we're super excited about that. Also wanted to uh, give y'all a heads up that um, we're pretty certain that the, the Queen City Rotary Club is going to be joining us as an impact club. Uh, we've got a meeting later tonight uh, to talk about it, but once they approve that, we will be taking them on as an impact club. There'll be a separate uh, entity from us, but they will fall under the Charlotte Dilworth rotary structure so super excited about that um, i also wanted to share with you that when when we talk about what rotary does we know some of the some of the good things that we're doing in our club uh, and that's fantastic we're doing some good stuff but one of the other things i wanted to mention to you um, and this is this is kind of related to our rotary foundation but not really bob <laughs> not really but this is all about disaster relief um, Y'all will remember that about six months ago, um, I think it was in December of 2021, there was a massive series of tornadoes that hit Kentucky. And Jenny, if you can share those pictures. These are, these are some of the pictures. This, uh, this, this happens to be the town of Dawson Springs, population 2,500, um, an EF tornado hit there, 75% of the city was destroyed. 14 people died in this city of 2,500 people. Um, there were about 74 people altogether who perished uh, due to those, those uh, horrific tornadoes in Kentucky. So um, one of the things that we did shortly after that was we started an effort uh, here within District 70, 7680 to provide some funds to um, District 6710, which is the district that handles Kentucky. And uh, I'm happy to report that we will be providing them with uh, about $13,000 as a result of those efforts to help support recovery efforts in uh, Dawson, Springs and in other parts of Kentucky that were just completely devastated. I had a chance to talk to their district governor earlier this week, and she was thrilled to hear about the assistance that's being provided from our district. So 
hats off to all y'all and everybody who contributed. This is what we do. Thank you, Kelly. It's one thing to have them come with you, it's another thing to have them in your house, right? <laughs> Thanks. Kelly, are we still going for that? That wasn't happy dollars. No, that wasn't happy dollars. <laughs> that was just an announcement. All right. Well, now I think it's time for happy dollars. So um so for our guests uh, who are, are here today, um, we do something called Happy Dollars. And um, basically it is a, uh, a very small donation, dollars, dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, however happy you are. And it's just, uh, you, get, you just get a second on the microphone to say whatever you're happy for. It's just a way uh, um, to show gratitude for things in your life, as well as um, it, uh, the money that we raise during Happy Dollars that goes into Mr. Hat. Um, goes to Dilworth Charities to then fund a lot of our philanthropic um, activities through our 501c3. Everybody? All right, Kevin's going to be my man of white. Happy All right, Bob. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dale, for bringing your group with you today and having me part of Dilworth Thank you. <laughs> Oh, you a dollar. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you over <laughs> 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 
Yes, I remember. <laughs> Our four way test number one is just a big one. Whoever, if Renee paid for her lunch, um, I will be giving that money back to her because I am paying for her lunch too. She got her before I did. speaker, um, which you guys are going to be thrilled, and I'm excited um, to have her here in, in town. Um, I'm excited. I had a great week last week. I went to a uh, state convention for North Carolina American Legion, and the coming of one of the state commanders for American Legion North Carolina. So about a few thousand people are responsible for now, veterans. And, um, and I had a great meeting last week with the director of Lynchburg County, Mark McGrath. So I, I'm grateful for the first ever American Legion High School Bowl games where we played the Shrine Bowl. So we have a few days who are excited about that. But they're behind me and they're pushing it right up to make it possible. December 2024 was our kick. All right. Yes. <laughs> I'm say, I'm along with a lot of these guys. We're finishing up our year. We are turning out. Everything looks great. Outcome numbers came great. So we are celebrating an end of a great year. So we'll take it off the new group. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this time. I'm just called. Just because. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, there. Oh, yeah, I can Uh, 
Not like it's more than more than like I'll be here all week, kids. <laughs> My five dollar happiness is to really, really see that five X. Ah, yes. Yes. I yes. love the five nights. I love your mission statement, and I'm gonna read that out loud so that I can resonate with what's going on right now. Right? Ooh. So five X number one. Is it true? Number two. Is it fair to all concerned? Number three. Will it build goodwill and better friendship? Number four, will we be beneficial to all concerned? Number five, I'm rooting for that every day. It will be fun. That will be fun here. And thank you so much for having us. Thank you. We've already demonstrated, is it the truth? Because Kevin, you know. Yes. 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 Yeah. He wants to have. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, he can help his financials. Uh, uh, I am happy uh, because of many, many things. First of all, we've got you here again. Secondly, we've got so many wonderful guests here. Uh, I'm excited about the potential for growing our membership with, with such an exciting team. I'm thankful for Daryl Bonaparte being on our leadership team as well as our president nominee. I'm thankful to Rosemary Hill for signing up today and next week. You don't know how much those little things mean. So thank you, thank you, because they're not little. And being prepared. And being prepared. Rosemary, oh, best got here. Rosemary got here yesterday and started saying <laughs> <laughs> If I could snap, I would snap right now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and finally, again, I want to echo what David said about Kelly. We're going to have more of that next week uh, at Kelly's uh, official last meeting. So thank you all for being here today. Now, uh, <laughs> all right. Um, and I actually donate online. I just found out, even though I've been putting cash in the hat. Uh, apparently, I've been donating online every uh, week, and so I'm going to take my I'm going to take my two seconds to um, to just I'm just grateful to be in the presence of all these amazing humans every single week. It's a highlight of my week, not the technology, but the people, and that's what Rotary is all about. Is the people and not the technology because <laughs> most of the time Rotor doesn't know much about technology so all right um if uh Kevin I don't know why you just sat down oh no no Daryl's Daryl it's not you today whoop, whoop. all right uh Daryl I am going to invite you up to um to introduce our speaker and uh just make sure you're in the picture oh okay <laughs> And I'll do gallery view, and then um, so just stay in the frame. And if you need to adjust the um, here, I'll just adjust it for you. Well, I don't have a bad side. You don't have to adjust it. No, but you might. You might be. <laughs> oh yeah, you were not with my heels on. We're we're about the same height. Okay. <laughs> Was that a short joke? <laughs> no, no. I've got like three inch platforms. I on. do have a Napoleonic complex, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'll just stand like this for a while. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, that, that was a short show. <laughs> this um awesome. And um, I am excited to, to be here and honored to be standing before you to do this introduction. Um, again, uh, Kelly stated, I'm Daryl Bonaparte.